Hey, welcome back to Diode Press, I'm Graham. I've been making some new equipment for the studio to allow me to make better videos, and this week's project is gonna be a simple turntable. It was also a good chance to make use of some of the components that I've had laying around for a couple of years that I haven't been using. So first up is a small gear motor that I purchased from Palalu Robotics, and they offer them in a ton of different configurations. And the second piece of this project is the Baby Orangutan Microcontroller. So this is complete overkill for this project, but this controller can run you know, multiple motors and tons of sensors, but I'm just using it because I had it in my parts bin. If something comes along in the future that I need it for, I'll definitely take it out of this project. And the last main component are the small wheels, and they're designed to fit on the shafts of the gear motors. Since I had the components before creating the main frame, I basically arranged them in Fusion 360 and then built the structure around it to fit. And the goal is to make this whole device kind of as compact and portable as possible. Once the base structure was completed, I made a top disc to ride on the wheels. I also added three tabs to allow me to secure the top piece to different size discs and materials so I'm not locked into one size platform. And here you can see the small pocket in the top of the disc and this keeps the whole assembly centered while keeping the weight over the wheels on the outside. I printed out the pieces for this project on the Lulzbot Mini printer and I'm using Matter Hackers Pro PLA plastic. I decided to paint the pieces rather than leave them bare plastic, so I sanded them down to get rid of some of the layer lines. I'm using a layer of plastic primer first, but to be honest, I don't think it made much of a difference. I really had no issues going straight to paint with PLA plastic. For the actual color I'm using, I'm going to be using this Rust-Oleum Paint and Primer in One in metallic silver. Now while the paint dries, I'm moving on to the electronics part of the project. It's a really simple setup, but I've been using this easy EDA website to lay out my circuits. It really helps to visualize and keep track of things, which is really helpful on more complicated builds. To start the assembly, I soldered a small capacitor between the motor leads to try and reduce the overall electrical noise in the system. I also added a few pins to the microcontroller for future connections. Then I test wired everything up on a breadboard. Now once everything was working as expected, I can wire it all up and do the final assembly. The motor is being clamped down with a small plastic cover, so if I decide to change the motor down the road, it's an easy swap. Now I'm preparing the top panel. This is just a test piece to see if it's all gonna work how I want, and I'll cut a few different sizes and colors and have them on hand for different uses. And here's the final assembly, and I'm really happy with it. I'll have all the 3D printed files available in the description box down below, and you're more than welcome to use them if you can you know, use them in your projects. Thanks for watching! To keep up with the videos when they're posted, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help support this channel, you can check out the Diode Press Patreon page, where I post behind the scenes photos as well as other patron rewards. Thanks!